Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have been horrible at recording garage sales horrible but i am going to show you some of the things i found this weekend and then we're going to go into some items that sold over the weekend and this is basically going to be a reseller vlog so let's get started hey bubble buddies thanks for watching All right, let's get started. All right, so you guys know I just did a video on strawberry shortcake. Would you not? I just, I can't even believe it. I found strawberry shortcake this weekend. I found it. Now, is it the stuff in the video? No, but it is vintage and it is super cool. And I'm bringing it to my whatnot toy show whenever I end up having that. So stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I found. My husband, I don't even know what's in here but this is coming tonight to whatnot. All right, so I actually found more than just a strawberry shortcake. I did find this rainbow bright little gal, and I'm not sure who these are, Sassoon or something. And then I kind of, I've got these in a little baggie because I believe that these characters go together based on my research. And I feel like whenever you can put things together that go together, you can get more for your item. So we're going to do that. I'm not sure who this is. And check this out. My crazy cut. These must go to something, but I'm not sure what. So if anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Found some little McDonald's toys. I'm trying to identify this ball. It says Hong Kong on it right there, but I don't know what it goes to. It was with the strawberry shortcake items. Is this a strawberry shortcake item? Does anybody know? And I also found this ball which opens up, but I don't know why. So I don't know if this is strawberry shortcake or not, but I ended up getting like a whole bunch of the little uh, characters. So super, super cute. Look at them. Look at their little faces. Strawberry shortcake is really easy to identify. They have a very, very um, uh, distinct look to them. This hat, not sure what it goes to. Just some different things in here. I've got some brushes. Sometimes the brushes alone can do well. I did get this pony. It's got some issues. It looks like it's missing its wings. And it says 19, is that 87? 87? Or no, wait. Is that a date? Yeah, I think that's 87. But it says made in China, patent pending. Is this an old one? Is this good? I haven't looked it up yet. So got to look that up. And then here were just some other things that were... I think this goes to a McDonald's toy. So, and then this pony, but it's in such poor condition. Um, I'm gonna look it up and see if, um, I, I just don't know if I could get it clean. It's by Hasbro Softies from 1984. I had another one and it was completely missing the tail. So that one is done. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? I picked up this guy, it says Rat Race and it's definitely vintage. What do I do when it has something on the tag? Well, I just tell them it has something on the tag and I take a picture of it. This is from 1987 and it is a Heartline plush. Um, I wanna say I paid, I think a quarter or 50 cents for this guy. So now here's where I need your help. Look at this, 1956 and it is, I, I think it's, is it, uh, I don't know, um, Supreme Council, uh, Monarch of said Grotto, is that, am I saying that right? Forums and Ceremonies, I'm not sure what this is, but it's very, very old. I think it came with this cup. So I don't know if it's, is this Masonic maybe? And I also got this book, which is really, really old as well. But look at this. I have no idea what any of that says. So I, is this some sort of like code or, or what is happening here? I don't know what's happening here. So I'm not sure what these are. Need to do some more research and I can't even read what that says. But those are some unique things that I got this weekend. Another interesting item that I don't normally pick up, I got this ashtray. And it, it, the reason I picked it up is because it says 
made in Brazil. So I don't know what kind of glass this is. And it does look like it might be, have a little bit of chipping right there. But I only paid a quarter for it and I thought I would take a chance. Now, here's another thing that I got that is really interesting. I don't know what it is, but it was $2 and I just, I have picked up cards kind of like this, not the same, but they were um, educational cards similar and I did really well. I wanna say I sold them for like three or $400. I don't think these are the same thing, but um, unfortunately the stickers on the front, I hope, ooh, good, it didn't mess anything up. So these are, I, I don't know what these are. War in the air. They look like they're some type of uh, educational cards. It looks like 1977. And I'm going to have to figure out, um, is it Edito service? Made it, printed in Italy. So all of these, all of these cards, and it looks like it's military type stuff. So maybe it's a bolo, maybe it's not. What's this? The Second World War. I don't know if this is the same thing or not. Yeah. So I'm gonna do a little Google search on this and see. I don't know if it's complete. I have no idea. But again, I paid $2 for it. Um, hoping it's a bolo, but if not, I'm sure I can make some money on that. A hat. I got a hat. And it's brand new with the tags. And I can't remember what I paid for it. I think like a buck. And I got this little guy for a quarter. How cool is he? He's Disney store. So I pick up Disney store no matter what. But there's this little magnet the lady showed me when I was leaving. So you can put this on your shoulder. And it's like your little buddy. And he's from some TV show. I'll have to Google lens him. These are all Legos. And... Um, this is probably just going to go in my big Lego hoard until I have time to figure out what I have here. So, um, I always, I am like a Lego sucker, but they all had the little mini figures. So I know you can sell the mini figures separately, but these, if these are sets, I would like to eventually take the time to, um, oh, look, is this a dinosaur? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's a dinosaur I, or no wait is it a dinosaur it actually says marvel oh it's a black panther rhino face off by the by the mine or something i don't know what it says but check that out how cool is that legos 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 i pick up this chucky e. cheese ball it's made in china but it's definitely vintage it's a hacky sack um i always pick up anything vintage chucky e. cheese if i remember correctly this was a quarter and um I could not find this exact one, so I'm gonna run an auction on this. Sometimes Chuck E. Cheese is long tail, but a lot of times um, you can get a decent amount of money for it. If you guys watched my This Is My Bolo recently, you saw that Chuck E. Cheese item that I sold for big money. Okay, here's one that I've never seen. It is a patootie. I did pay up for her, I paid $5 for her, but she holds this little baby, and she, I believe, is from the 80s, and she is just in excellent, excellent condition. And look at those green eyes. And I have her listed and available in my eBay store. Let's take a look at a few more things that I picked up. Um, I have sold these in the past, but I've never had one with the original tag. It is the World's Cutest Dog by Gund. It is Boo. And I have sold these in long hair and short, short hair. They are typically um, bread and butter, but this one has a tag. So I'm gonna price it a little bit higher. I found this. It's a uh, saran wrap and it's on this little thing. And I was like, I can use that some way, somehow. Maybe a quarter, I don't know. I got a couple more plush here. I am a sucker for plush. Oh, that's disgusting. This may be going in the donate pile. Well, that is a total bummer. You know what I did? I smelled it, that's disgusting. It doesn't smell like anything, so. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know what that was. But I also got this bunny from the same place. It's got something right here, but I think I can get that off. That's just a little spot. I hope the bottom, I hope it wasn't sitting in a bag that, okay, so this one looks good. Any bunnies I can pick up. I love, love, love the bunnies. I think these were in a different box. So maybe there was something in the bottom of the box that was in the garage or something like that. I don't know who this is by, but any bunnies I pick up. I also picked up 
these really cool ephemera items, which I just think are awesome. Look at this Halloween. Oh, so cool. So there's a whole bunch of those. Oh, look at the Valentines. Awesome, awesome. I don't know if they wrote 10 cents on them or what, but um, yeah, pretty cool items. I got this for my husband and I to watch. Adam Sandler cracks me up. I got these craft things. So I am doing an ephemera show on Tuesday. I may be bringing these to the ephemera show and I believe they are uncut. So one thing that's important when you're selling patterns is if they are cut or uncut, if they're uncut, that means they have not been used, which is going to increase the value. I paid 10 cents each for these. These are gonna be a bread and butter, especially if I bring them to whatnot. But, um, you know, somebody may be looking for these and we've got bunnies and dolls. So went ahead and picked those up. Got all of these awesome things from the 60s, 65, 70. I just think these are so cool. I wish that they did not have writing on them and the 10 cents. Um, this may be able to come off if, uh, cause it is kind of on a sticker there, but we'll see. I don't know. Fun items. And let's keep looking at what else I found. So I thought about this and I am not even going to attempt. It is just not worth the time it would take to get this clean. And then I would put it in the washing machine and, um, but I would have to clean that first, maybe take the hose to it. And I'm just not going to do that. So it's probably like soda or something like that that's been sitting on there for like 25 years. Um, I don't even know if this is that old. So this is going on the donate pile. Somebody else can buy this, clean it up, and probably make some decent money on it, but it's not going to be me. Okay, so here is part of my ephemera for my show on Tuesday. So we're going to add these in there. Um, let's see. We'll just put those right there. So that's for Tuesday. Now I wanted to show you guys some other things I got this weekend. I'm starting to put together things for my um, toy show. And I got all of these Funko Pop things. Funko, Funko. No, they're Funko, it's Funko. I always say it wrong. I think I've got like 12 of them that I'm gonna be bringing. I also got some uh, new old stock toys that are Barbie in here that I'm gonna be bringing, some Transformer thing and a Lego thing that are all new old stock. So those are gonna be coming. And I'm working on a bunch of stuff upstairs that I'm making small toy lots. So that's gonna be coming, but this stuff is ready to go. So I'm trying to like organize it and get ready. So what does it look like after a whatnot show? We're also gonna talk about the what sold, so stay tuned. But uh, part of what I sold was all of my jewelry, that I did a show on, I did an untangling. And actually one of my friends, the gal that you have seen in um, the shows, uh, my shows, shows, my Goodwill bins, she went to the bins with me. She actually came on Whatnot with me and helped me untangle jewelry and we sold it. It was so fun. So if you guys have not come over to Whatnot, definitely come see me. Even if you just wanna hang out and watch, uh, that would be awesome. So there is a referral link. You can get $15 if you use my Whatnot referral link to join. And come see me. I'll be on tonight, uh, Sunday night at 10, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And wait until you see what my husband found. And I'm bringing it tonight. So stay tuned. I have 17 orders going out for whatnot. And these are all in bundles. So if somebody bought more than one item, I have the names on the bags. And I have them in piles. So now I just have to wrap everything up. So I just write the name on the bag. And then I um, package it up. I actually had, nope, it's not in there. Two items that sold from my marketplace on whatnot. So this is a little uh, fireplace for a dollhouse. You push on it and it lights up. There's no batteries in it. I wasn't sure how long it would take to sell because marketplace on whatnot is new for me. And it actually sold really quickly. These are um, Cray Pass uh, crayons. And they are partially used, but some of them are really, I mean, they've still got a lot left on them. So what I do on whatnot on my marketplace is I put lightweight items in there. And a lot of times people will buy those during my show. And I try to price them at a really competitive price, cheaper than what I would list something on eBay or any other platform I'm on. So that 
Um, this is going to encourage people that are searching the marketplace on whatnot to follow me. So these two items sold. Now, if they would have bought these during my live show on whatnot from my marketplace, they would have got combined shipping. Because they bought it when I was not doing a live show, they had to pay shipping on each one. So I'm hoping that Whatnot is going to figure out a way to do combined shipping on the marketplace items. The only way I think you could possibly do that would be to message the seller and ask them to create one listing for you, and then you could get the combined shipping. So that's something if you're selling on Whatnot, that's a little tip. And yeah, so actually items from my buy it now section are selling when I'm not live. So that's really cool. I think I have sold five or six items that way so far. And I really don't have a whole lot over there. So I'm super, super excited about that. What is in this bag? Oh my goodness. Uh, this is a bunch of beautiful stuff. I went to a garage sale this weekend. However, it was somebody who does flea markets and she's a dealer. So the prices were not as good as I had hoped, but I did spend some money and I got some beautiful things. So these will be in a future whatnot show. Um, that's where I'm bringing my jewelry. I don't know when it's going to be, but stay tuned for that. And let's look at what is in, oh, here's some of the jewelry I got over the weekend at some garage sales, some really, uh, just, you know, garage sales, it's hard to find jewelry. I, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, I can't even remember what is in here. Um, what is this? Oh, they're cute little earrings and they are Sarah Cub. So I paid 75 cents for this and I'm hoping that I make a little money on that. Now, when you sell on whatnot, it really just varies. It depends on how many people are watching, who's bidding. If somebody likes your item, sometimes items go low, sometimes they go high. So if I've got a dollar invested into these pins, We'll see, we'll see what happens. I, I don't have any idea. I may get a dollar, I may get $5. It depends on what I start my price at. Uh, I kinda have to, you know, figure it all out. Look at this, this is a really cool bracelet. Does anybody know what any of these markings mean? Just crazy. So I got some really, really beautiful stuff. Those, I think, are those? Those are Crown Trafari, I think. So yeah, just some some cool items here, some brooches. This is 925, this is from something else. But look at this, my husband, I don't even know what's in here, but this is coming tonight to whatnot. Oh my goodness. So this is mine, I'm keeping this. This my husband got for me. I just think it's really cool. He knows I like owls and I'm hanging on to that. So that's mine. But look at all of these incredible brooches. I have not seen if anything is signed yet. I'm, I know he said he looked at a few and then just bought them all. This one's missing a stone, but how amazing is that? Somebody can put something in there really easy. Um, I mean, incredible brooches. So tonight I am, woo, look how pretty. Uh, it looks like there's some clip-ons. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's Austria, you guys. Oh, oh, an owl. I might have to keep that one. I love it so much. So I haven't looked through here. I want to get all of these off of these thingies. Um, I, I, uh, are these collars, shirt collar things? So I have my husband pretty much, uh, sourcing for me now because I can't, I can't do as much as I want to do. He is out, uh, doing his thing. He likes to go to flea markets and stuff like that. He buys things for himself, but I'm like, wow, you're looking for things for yourself. Can you like shop for me? That would be amazing. And oh my goodness, he is like a better shopper than me. So get ready for some amazing stuff on whatnot tonight. Holy cow. I'm so excited to bring this to you. So Bolo Buddies, I have a question for you. Are you seeing more of this in your day-to-day -day selling on eBay? Let me know down in the comments. So somebody bought this right here and immediately requested to cancel. And I feel like there's been more and more cancellations. I feel like there's been a lot of unpaids. Are you experiencing this also? Also to include uh, slower sales, but I put some of that blame on myself. I spent, I don't know how many, I don't know how many minutes last night doing offers because I had over 200 offers 
that needed sent on eBay. That is how behind I was. So I did send out offers. I'm going to show you guys what sold overnight. I'm going to show you what I packed up last night. They're already in the boxes, but I'm going to pop up screen shares for you guys. And let's get started with that. I think this is the right bag. Uh, I have two that are this shape and size. But anyway, the uh, information is on the back, so I don't want to show the address. But this is a vintage kennel cuddly dog watch. I picked this up at, I believe, a garage sale, and I just forgot what I sold it for, so let me go look. All right, I checked what I uh, paid for it also and where I got it. I paid a dollar for it at an estate sale. It sold for $12.40 plus shipping. All right, this is a Calico Critters Koala Bear. One little teeny tiny koala bear. I sold it for $15.50 plus shipping, and I got this at a state an estate sale and a lot of calico critters for 25 cents is about average of what I paid for it, maybe even less. This is a Muffy Vander Bear plush horse. I got this for a dollar at a garage sale, and I sold this for $12.40 plus shipping. And this is the second item I've sold for that same price. So what has happened is I had my item up at a buy it now i had a sale running and they bought it for my sale price and they must have had the same buy it now price so two items going out at twelve dollars and forty cents plus shipping this item going out is two pair of lane bryant pants they are the same and they did quantity two which means they got five dollars shipping i do have discounted shipping on some of my items and this was included in that they paid $24.80 plus shipping for the two pair of Lane Bryant pants. Picked these up at a discount store many, many, many years ago. I probably had 50 to 75 pair of these exact pants, and they just keep selling over and over and over again. That is one thing that's great about retail arbitrage. When you can buy things in multi-quantity, create one listing and just let it sit and sell over and over and over again. Longenberger baskets. Do I pick them up? Not typically unless they are something like Halloween or Christmas or something like that. Why? Because I don't like to ship the baskets. And honestly, I very few of them go for big money that's worth the time it's going to take for me to protect the basket. But I will pick up the pottery. This is a spice jar that I picked up for a dollar at a garage sale. I think it was last weekend. I just brought it in, listed it right away. It may have been I think it was last week, and I don't think it was this Friday. I mean, it sold super fast, so maybe it was. I did price it. It was last weekend. I just remembered. I did price it competitively, and I took a best offer of $10. So a dollar into 10, buyer paid shipping, not huge profits, but sold in less than a week, and I will take those margins all day long. So um, do I do bread and butter? Yes. Do I sell things for big money? Yes. I, I'll sell anything. Well, almost anything, not everything. I won't sell anything. I take that back. I will not sell anything, but I will sell most things. I do have some boundaries. Let me know. No, don't let me know. Don't let me know. Never mind. Forget that question. Ah! I don't want to know what you guys won't sell because those comments could get a little crazy. So just keep that to yourself and let's move on to what else I sold. For those of you thinking about selling on whatnot, I kind of wanted to come back to this 17 orders. How long does that take to ship? It takes a long time. I will probably be shipping these items for two, three, maybe four hours, depending on how um, how much bubble wrap and how, how I have to... Some of them are easier than others, but when you get into these uh, bigger orders, these, this was purchased by Buy Now and Enjoy, and she actually has a Whatnot channel also, so go and follow her. But I will package all of these items so that it keeps everything safe during shipment. shipment. All right, so the next item I sold is, I'm gonna turn on the light, so get ready. Bam! Um, are these re rewritable CDs, I think they are? And you know, MacPack Reselling just asked me about these. She saw them in a What Sold video. She's like, if you get any more of those, let me know. But these were already listed, and I don't know if these are the ones she wanted or not. So if you're watching, I didn't even know I had these listed and I don't even know if these are what you want, but if they are, I'm so, so sorry. Let me show you what I sold. I sold these for $24.80 plus shipping, picked it up at the Goodwill bins and let's find it in this tote. My Goodwill bins, anything that is media to include books, DVDs, stuff like this. Uh, I believe it's 59 cents a pound or 69 cents a pound. It's supposed to be here in tote Z. Um, 
Let's see if we can find it. I don't want to mess up any of this awesome stationery. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Um, hmm. it, it says it's in tote Z, but I want to be careful that I, oh, there they are. Here it is. Now, um, if it is blank media, you cannot ship this media mail. So this will go out priority mail because you cannot ship anything blank media mail. So keep that in mind, you guys, if you're shipping media, that is blank VHS, blank tapes, blank CDs, DVDs, all of that. Media mail has to ship not media mail. You can do parcel post, you can do priority mail. If it's lightweight, you can do first class, but you cannot do media mail. Right, so I just released a Goodwill bins video last night. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I dig through the bins, I pop up how I listed everything, and I'm pretty sure this next item might have been in that video. So it may have been a viewer sale. They did not say anything. Not 100% sure. Maybe it was somebody that watched the video. I'm not even 100% sure if it was in this video, but somebody had mentioned in the comments picking up Thai plush that are like movies and cartoons and different stuff like that. And this is actually a SpongeBob tie plush that I ended up selling for, I think, $17. And I don't know, I'll pop it up right here. So many cents plus shipping. And I got this at the Goodwill bins. So let's go dig it out of a tote. Let's see how long it's going to take us to find it in this tote. Okay, it is in plush tote three. Hey, Bolo Buddies, it is in plo plush <laughs> tote three. I can't even talk. Where is it? It's, it's buried right under that tote. So now I got to move this tote and this tote is like overflowing with plush so i'm gonna pop this ah, on top of it with one hand so i can record and we're gonna see if we can find this spongebob square pants plush he should he should stand out because he's yellow and hopefully i didn't miss mark which tote he's in it's a zombie i got this from zombie bargain hunter and it is a, it eats the brain. It eats the brain. Oh my goodness. I think I have a video on my reseller testing Bolo products if you want to see how that works. But if you need a brain eating plush, it is available in my eBay store. I know everybody needs a brain eating plush. Where are you, SpongeBob? Oh my goodness. Did I put it in the wrong tote? Oh, jeepers. I think I might have. I don't see it. I am not seeing it. Oh, it's right here in my hand. SpongeBob by Ty. So Beanie Babies, do they sell? Some of them do. This one actually sold for more than I expected. When I looked up comps, I was pleasantly surprised. So nice little bread and butter bolo right there for you. And back to this zombie thing. I got this um, from Zombie Bargain Hunters Whatnot Show. So he was selling animated plush and I love selling animated plush because I test them on my reseller testing bolo products channel. So not only can I resell it, but it gives me content for my channel. I'm helping a friend and a YouTuber and, you know, somebody else, another reseller, which I love to do. If I buy anything, I try to buy it on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, whatnot first. I try to support other resellers. And then, you know, if I can't find it, of course, I have to sometimes go to the store. But uh, I, I try to do what I can. Like my hair mousse, put in my hair, I buy that off of eBay. Um, every time I buy it, I always buy it on eBay. So try to shop with other resellers if you can. I know it's not always like super convenient, but it does help. It, I mean, if you're watching this, you're probably a reseller. And how excited do you guys get when you get a cha-ching? I know like every cha-ching, I'm like, yes, cha-ching. So support other resellers, not necessarily saying support me. I'm just saying support other resellers. Go out there and shop with your friends shop with other resellers, people you don't know, people that are doing what we do. Just think, think how excited you get when you get a cha-ching. So when you buy something from eBay or Poshmark or Mercari or whatnot, those people are getting excited when they get the cha-ching, whether it's a cha-ching or there's no sound at all. Some of them, they just need that cha-ching, you know? Etsy, I mean, all the platforms, Depop, uh, what are the other ones? 
there's so many, so many platforms that you guys can shop on to support others. So a lot of times what I will do if I have an item that I'm not sure if I have a box that will fit it or if it needs extra packaging, I will package it when I list it. This is a Barbie and it's Belle. So this is already ready to go. And what's wonderful about that is that I just have to slap a label on it. So I kind of like that. I got this at a garage sale for $5 and I sold it for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. So I recently did a video on Folk Monis. No, no, no. I recently did a video on puppets, but I talked about Folk Monis. Most Folk Monis are bread and butter but there are some that go for really big money. Check out that video if you missed it. I talk about tons of puppets, not tons, but a lot of puppets that go for big money. And some of them are probably pretty unexpected that you might not know about. But Folkmanis, I do touch on that one. I pick up every single Folkmanis I find that is a good price that I know I can sell. This one is a bread and butter, but I still picked it up and I'm gonna show it to you. Going over here to tote six. And this I did pay up a little bit for because I wasn't sure what comps were gonna be. And I think this is an older one. Uh, the condition is, you know, it, it's older. I wanted to get it out of the bag and on my arm. Check it out. It still has the original tag, but it's definitely an older one. I paid and it's got like some dirt right there. I paid $2 for this at a thrift store. Like I said, I, I did pay up a little bit for it given the condition but it's got the original tag and I think it has red, does that have red eyes? What is happening here? I sold this for $12 and I can't remember how many cents I'll pop it up, orange eyes, how cool is that? And the buyer paid shipping for this eagle, how cool. I love it, I love it, I love it. And let me show you the inner tag. This is definitely an, a vintage one. And this one says furry folk puppets by Folk Monis. So that is not what the tag normally looks like. This is definitely an older one there. So pretty cool little bread and butter bolo. Did take a little while to sell, but yeah, check out my puppet video. Amazing what some puppets sell for. Hey pile, just saying. Okay, so the next item I uh, have an offer on and I wanna make sure, I had multi quantity. So I wanna make sure that I still have it before I accept the offer. I have had it a long, long time. And I had, like I said, quite a few of these. It is an Abacus jacket. That's what it looks like. Uh, I sold quite a few of these early on, but this one for some reason has taken a long time to sell and somebody has offered me $11 plus shipping. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. It's kind of like a little windbreaker and I am gonna take that $11 plus shipping and I probably paid $3 or less for this. Pool noodles are great for breakables. So whenever I see these at garage sales and stuff like that, I think I picked those up at a garage sale a couple of years ago, actually. And they've just been sitting there because I don't sell tons of breakables, but they are fantastic for shipping. So keep that in mind. A lot of people I know pick them up at the dollar store. At the next item, I have an offer on Poshmark for $15. I have it listed, I think for 25 or 26. Do I wanna take a $15 offer? I would rather get more for it, but it is something that I've had for a long time. It was another thing. It was retail arbitrage. I bought it on the Lane Bryant website and I bought a whole bunch of them. When they were on clearance, probably two, three, maybe even four years ago, but I bought a ton and I bought a bunch of colors. I'm getting down to the very end of them. And this is a brand new with tags item. $15 plus shipping is what I'm gonna get for it. But first I wanna go make sure I have it because again, it was a multi quantity item. And sometimes those numbers, you know, you can mix them up if you have like a bunch of colors and uh, different sizes. So I just wanna make sure that I actually have the item before I accept the offer. All right, so we're in here and it is in my swim tote right down here. So let's get tote in out of the way. So I just do the little slide. I just slide things. And I know some of you think that's crazy, but that's how I do it. And I love it. So I'm looking for a plus size. I'm pretty sure it's size 26. Yes. And you know, when you put these in here, sometimes the little panty things fall off and get stuck to each other, which this one came off of this when I got stuck to the tag. So I'm gonna have to put that back on, but it's right here. It just stuck to the tag because when I ruffle through here, I'm moving things around. So I'm gonna take this item that originally retails for $49.95. I can't remember what my cost of goods was. I did not, um, I 
bought so much in bulk. I'm going to say average three to five dollars for this retail arbitrage. Typically, you're not going to have huge margins. It's not like going to a garage sale and getting this for a quarter. But you can see this is brand new. The tag is not marked through. When I get these at discount stores, the tag will have a line through it. So is it possible to do retail arbitrage online? Absolutely. It's time consuming. You're going to have to go on there. You're going to have to look through um, the sales. You're probably going to be buying things when they're off season. So I picked these up probably at the end of summer. That's why they were on clearance. And then I had to wait it out. But this tote was full to the top. I mean, stuffed. And I also did this with brawls and shoes from Catherine's. There's different places that I used to go to source retail arbitrage online. I don't do it anymore because I don't really focus on clothing, but I am so happy that my clothing is still selling and I'm still making money on these items that I bought multi-quantity. So keep that in mind. It is a great way to sell things. I just kind of got sick of doing measurements. I did clothing from 2005 up until probably five or six years ago, and then I switched to hard goods. Do I still sell some clothing? Yes, but let me show you something. This is a walk-in closet, and it was all organized with totes, but what I did was I pulled some of these items out, and I was going to list them. I'm like, I'm going to make myself do it, and I hung it on a clothing rack, and then I needed space for my totes, so I took it off the clothing rack and brought it back in here. That's what some of these dresses are, and I now have a pile of clothes on top of totes. Um, these are all with the original tags right here. I've got some of these listed already. I could go in and just do multi-quantity so easy. I just have not had time. So um, those are all men's express shirts, which are great sellers, especially around Easter time. Those purple and pink and those pastel -y colors do fantastic. Um, that says other women's. There's three totes there, one there, there's three here, there's two here, and I think these are too high, two of them, two totes, and then just this miscellaneous stuff on top. I've got Lane Bryant jeans, I've got this fancy dress here that retails for $189, I've got this fancy dress that retails for, I don't know, some crazy $300 or something. Some of this stuff I have picked up at garage sales, and um, was going to list it and just haven't got to it. So I've got something UGG right here. I think my mom gave me that. So I'm probably more than likely going to end up having a clothing show on whatnot because quite honestly, I'm not excited about clothes anymore. I don't really want to list clothes. So um, I can bring it to whatnot and I can show it and I don't have to list it. And I'm just a hard goods girl now. So look for this in the future on whatnot. Again, my referral link is down below. You can get $15 to shop. But uh, yeah, and I'm live. So you guys can come hang out. It's just fun. It's just fun. Even if you don't buy, you can just come watch. This item sold on Poshmark. I do list currently to eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Start my items on eBay, cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. I use list perfectly. I know some of you get sick of hearing that. I'm so sorry. But um, for those of you that are new and you're looking for a cross posting service, I absolutely love it. Been using it since 2019. There's a video down below that shows you how it works. Getting your items on more platforms, you're going to sell more stuff. Now, I only have one Poshmark sale going out, nothing on Mercari. And you saw my eBay sales. But, you know, that's how it goes. Some days I sell more on Poshmark. Some days I sell more on Mercari. It really just depends. Um, but more eyes on your items. If you want to try list perfectly, you can use coupon refer referral code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. But go down and check out that tutorial. Make sure that it's something that is good for you and that you can manage it and, you know, take the time to actually do it. And you're going to see more sales coming in. So... Let me know if you have any questions, and that's pretty much a wrap. We're going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys at my WhatNot show tonight at 10, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tonight is going to be those beautiful brooches that my husband found, and then Tuesday night's going to be ephemera, and I'm working on getting a toy show together for you guys, so stay tuned for that. These are my Bolo Buddies owls behind me, so um, again, 
Thanks for watching. Check out another video and I will see you soon.